Hello, and welcome back with Mr. Shab. We are going to go over cell division mitosis phase interphase. Here we go. Now, before we dive right into how a cell divides, let's first take a look at the entire life of a cell. Our goal is to learn how it divides, but it doesn't start out by dividing. A cell's life is broken up into three phases. Interphase, this whole arrow, mitotic phase, this shorter arrow, and the cytokinesis phase, C phase, which is just, just the short arrow. Okay. So, see if you can guess, which phase do you think a cell spends most of its life? Interphase. Interphase. Yes, look how ginormous this arrow is. Very long. Okay. And that is what we're going to go over today, interphase. Now, how long a cell stays in interphase depends on the type of cell it is. All cells go through interphase, but not the same amount of time. Okay? Nerve cells, for example, stay in interphase for almost their entire lifetime. Our entire lifetime. Skin cells spend a very short amount of time in interphase. Maybe a few days tops. Okay? That is because, can anyone guess why? How many, how fast do your nerve cells divide? They don't. You get your nerve cells when you are born, and those are the ones you get. Your skin cells, on the other hand, are dividing every day, constantly replenishing, making new skin. Okay? So, thus, it doesn't spend near as much time in interphase. So, what is this interphase we keep talking about? Well, let's take a look. In interphase, there are three stages. G1, S, and G2. Very cleverly, cleverly named. Now, all cells set out as a baby cell. Let's see where a baby cell starts. All baby cells start at the beginning of G1. So here we have us a baby cell starting right here. It's got all this life to live before ending its life. Okay. So baby cells start at G1, which is a growth stage. Thus, G. That's what the G stands for. The little baby cell grows up to be a teenage cell in G1. Are you following along on your computer? All right, so if G1 is just a growth stage. The stage, stage is literally just getting bigger. Okay? All its parts are getting bigger. Its head's getting bigger. No, it doesn't have a head. That's a lie. But you understand that its cytoplasm is getting bigger. Its nucleus is getting bigger. It's getting bigger. So far, so good. It's growing. All right, after the cell grows for a while, it enters the S stage. This is where the DNA is copied until there are two complete sets of DNA. What process copies DNA again? Replication. Okay. I like to call this the teenage years. The teenage cell has now um, goes through the S phase known as synthesis stage. Thus the S. The DNA is synthesized. Okay. So we had a baby cell Grow, 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 grow. Got so big, enter its teenage years. Divide, 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 divide. By the way, the cell is no longer getting bigger at this point. And then it reaches the adulthood, the beginning of G1. Now come the adult years, or what I like to call, G, I'm sorry, G2. I call them G1. I'm so embarrassed. What I call G2. Again, this is a time for what? Growth. Yes, G stands for growth. This is the second stage of growth. Now the cell is growing and getting ready to split into two identical baby cells. What? So we went from one baby cell, it grew, copied its DNA, grew some more, now it's getting ready to split to make two more baby cells. It's beautiful. After G2, growth stage two, the cell grows more and prepares for mitosis. At this point, right before the mitotic phase, it is reaching its elderly life, 
Yeah, it's getting ready to retire. The golden years. Some cells take a day or two to get here. Some take an entire lifetime. Crazy. Now, in its elderly life, the cell is getting ready to, quote unquote, die. But when the cell dies, it's not actually dying. It's just becoming one old cell into two new baby cells. What a die. It's nice. Now, this going from an old one big one big old cell to two baby cells happens through the mitotic phase and then the cytokinesis phase, which we will learn about next time. Thank you for joining us. Have a lovely day.